Hey guys, this is going to be more of a Create Mod tutorial than a Time Vortex Mod tutorial. Um, I've had a few people ask me how to add contraptions to their TARDIS, and I absolutely love the Create Mod, so I've got no problem making a tutorial for you guys. Um, the way that I have made this Time Rotor is I moved the interface down a singular block, I put a beacon on top of that, and then uh, seven pieces of glass and one blackstone. So it is nine blocks total. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a redstone link right here because the uh, interface gives off a redstone signal whenever we're in flight. So we want to use this redstone link which sends a redstone signal over over Bluetooth basically. Um, I, it's honestly closer to radio if anything. Um, you set your frequency that you're sending to right here and then to make a receiver um, you place one down, and then you right click on it with the wrench, and set the same frequency. Um, and then whenever this guy over here receives a resonance signal, then it'll send it to this one. We are going to use that to get the resonance signal from there into this area. Um, and we're going to want to be very careful with our design because uh, the create mod is pretty realistic, so your axis of rotation for the mechanical bearing is going to have to stay in the middle here. But you're also going to have to put your piston here. So you need to think a little bit. Um, for this design specifically, the piston is going to be here, and there's going to be one extension rod above it. And then we're going to need our block taking from the bearing, so our bearing is going to be right there. Under our bearing, uh, we're just going to put a little stone here, and then we are basically going to pull the energy away from right there and move it across this. And we're going to glue this down to there. So all of these blocks will now rotate together. And we want to be really careful with our super glue, okay? Um, you do not want to glue any blocks that you don't want to take with you. So, you see, for this specific pattern, you can do this um, just two by three thing over and over again, and it'll connect everything for you. Um, you gotta remember, though, I've got more blocks on the side of that. So, I'm gonna connect these up as well by doing this. There we go, they're all connected up. Set it back out. Okay, and now directly on top of this guy, we're going to put a clutch, and then we're going to put a water wheel. Just going to do this, make a little ring around the water wheel here. Uh, we're going to put a block here, and then we'll just have our water flow. See it's spinning, because our clutch is not powered. Looks like I forgot to connect those two sections together. Yep. So, now those are connected. Cool. Now you can see everything here will rotate um, exactly how we want it. And the reason why it's uh, bigger down here than just that little area is because there would be little air gaps that you can see through the ceiling when it rotates, because Minecraft does not have circles. <laughs> uh, Minecraft should add circles, you know, that would be a pretty cool update. One day Mojang hits us with the yo, we added circles. That'd be pretty awesome. I'm going to get our mechanical piston here. Our new mechanical piston, extension poles, we don't need our water. Um, yeah. Make sure it's facing down. You put your extension pole on top. Put that there, and then we're just going to make sure that that works. Yep. We only need one pull because we only need it moving uh, one block. Right, we just want it to go up and then immediately back down. Uh, we need to super glue all this together. So I'll start off here. Here. Should have broken that first, but it's okay. And you see everything moved up. So now all we have to do 
is automate these two systems. And the first thing that we're going to do, build off like this, we're going to get a redstone repeater, a redstone torch, and your other redstone link. You're going to put a repeater facing into the, the block where the clutch is, remember your clutch is behind that. You're going to build off like this, and then you're going to put a block right here, a redstone torch. Then we're going to build off again and put another repeater with our redstone link. With This one is going to be our receiver. And whenever this gets powered, this clutch will turn off, allowing this to spin. AKA, whenever we're in flight, spinny thing spins. Now we also need to take this redstone signal and get it down to this. First of all, I am going to test this and make sure that a uh, spinny thing do spin when we fly. There you go, spinny thing spins. We're going to get cogwheels. We're going to go like this. And I'm going to grab a shaft. We're going to come down. I'm going to turn this piston around. Um, since I'm getting the power from over here. Okay. Uh, and you want to keep in mind, uh, this can stop, uh, and you really don't want that to happen, because you see it turns back into a solid box, uh, and that will break all of this mechanical stuff that's going to be powering your piston. Um, but thankfully, Create has this option here, so you can do only place when anchor destroyed. Um, let me start a flight sequence again. Wondering why is why is that glued? Yeah, I don't know why create is being weird. The glue is not connected. Um, but I guess I'll break this. Let's run another one. Now it's not spinning, All right? So yeah, for some reason it was attaching to the mechanical piston. Okay, but now that it's already spinning, I'm gonna place the uh, pullback. Um, you know, my piston is facing the wrong way around now, though. So let's spin it around. If you're wondering how the create wrench works, basically, like, the face that you're right-clicking on, that's the, the axis that's going to choose. And you can visualize that using the shaft here, right? So if I right-click on this face, it's going to rotate around that shaft, is what you can think. And then if I right-click on this face, it's going to rotate around that little thing right there. Does that make sense? So that, that's how the wrench works. Uh, I was very confused about that when I first started using the grandma. Okay, but we're gonna do what we're gonna do now that we have this power coming down here is put a gearbox down. Connect it over. Uh, then you're gonna get yourself a clutch, and we're going to do a very similar thing here. This. Uh, and we're also going to want to get, get ourselves a gear shift. Um, and the gear shift will allow us to switch which direction this is turning. Um, so if I get a lever and I place it on here, now it'll raise it up. <clears throat> and we also probably want to speed this up, huh? That's really slow. A good rule that you can remember is that large to small will speed the uh, rotation up, and small to large will uh, slow the rotation down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a large cogwheel there, a regular cogwheel, another regular cogwheel, I'm not going to believe it, another regular cogwheel, and finally, one more time, another regular cogwheel. And what we've done now is sped up the piston. So that is a much more desirable speed for a time rotor. Real quick, I'm gonna go change the piston, that's really annoying. Or the the beacon, that's super annoying. I'm gonna change it to an iron block, I think that'll look kinda of good. Oh, it's a block of iron, that's right. So now there's that not that annoying freaking noise every time it moves. Probably set this to 
so it'll never make the placing noise. Unless you want the placing noise. What we're gonna do instead is just make a little redstone clock. Uh, because Crate has this nice toggle lamp, which is a lever. When you power it, it toggles the lever. Oh, this is, yeah, I can put a button here. Whenever I press this button, it toggles it on. Pressing it, it toggles it off. So, there's a lot of really cool applications with this thing. There we go, that's about perfect. Okay. So, maxed out repeaters in this setup is about perfect. Um, of course, though, we need to power this clutch. The way to do that is by pulling a rest on line from the storage. Okay. Now, if everything is correctly done, when I pull this lever, this will start bobbing and then I'll start spinning. And there we go, it actually works. Definitely not surprised by that. But yeah, and if you want to slow down that rotation, like I said earlier, um, big to small will speed it up, and small to big will slow it down. So you would basically just have to uh, raise the water wheel up, um, and then you would do this, just kind of over and over again. Um, you want to keep it on the same line, um, then you could do this. You can't just do it on the same thing because then these will connect and they'll just break themselves. This uh, this is an impossible contraption right here. This generates an infinite amount of stress. So it'll just instantly break. Hope y'all make some super cool stuff. Um, join the Discord and you know drop some videos or pictures of the, the cool interiors that you guys make. Yeah, thank you so much for using the mod. Uh, let me know if you want to make if you want me to make any other uh, tutorial videos, as I'll most likely be pretty happy to do them. I love making stuff. See you guys in the next one.